Yeah. Your name? Yeah, you can Hi, my name is Nefera Barber, and um, from Detroit, Michigan, one of the founding members of the Detroit Black Food Security Network. Um, actually, was the first farm manager there, and um, I went on to teach urban ag for 13 years to the residents of the city of Detroit and um, just showing them that they don't have to accept the food that's in the stores or uh, the restaurants that are in the neighborhood that's not healthy. They can grow their own natural healthy food. Um, I've been involved with um, lots of organizations, um, traveled around the world just sharing what we're doing here in Detroit. So, uh, we're here at the National Black Food and Justice Alliance annual meeting. Uh, what has been your takeaways, I guess? What? Oh, what could be, your, what, would you, what would you say your takeaways would be from uh, coming to uh, National Black Food and Justice meeting? What's been the impact of being a part of this organization? On you. So, being a part of this organization gives me so much um, joy because I see people um, all ages. And so, the work that I've been doing for the last, I'd say, 20 years, um, and I see people that are younger than 20 years old that are doing this, and um, the only regret that I had when starting this movement was um, not doing it sooner. So when I see younger people doing it, um, and just getting out of high school, in high school, it's it really lets me know that I can rest assured that we got things under control, you know. Um, just being around people that are like-minded um, makes me feel so energized, and I, just seeing the work that everybody's doing, and, everything that we're doing it just makes me feel good and it's our people mm. that's what i love oh, food sovereignty and this kind of hits home too because here on the Gullah islands um, is where my family originated and uh, my great uncles lived here on um, this island saint helena's island and we grew up not on the island but my mom, we were raised in the tradition and the food we ate. And now that I'm older, I'm archiving all her recipes and the stories because it's more than just eating because you're hungry. It's the history of the food and hearing the stories from our elders, like how they started eating certain things and why we eat certain foods and uh, the traditions during the holidays of the menus that we eat. Um, I think that's important. It's important to know why we came over here to this country and how, um, like, what what we what role we played in the sugar and the rice industry, and you know, so that when younger people eat rice, they can know the history and food becomes more nutritious to them.